Knowing the importance of education, it is the wish of every parent to give his children the best of education. Even when its affordability is not within their reach, parents go extra mile to give their children good education. But for parents who cannot afford quality education for their children, they do with what they could afford for them. As schools set for resumption across the country after a long Christmas and New Year vacation, parents and wards are already shopping, trying to meet the needs of their children. Plus TV Africa spoke with Abiso Adeboju, who is an early childhood expert and, and chief consultant in the school, Whisperer, and she shared her view. They need to check that they have all the supplies that their kids would need for school. So school bags, lunch boxes, um, things like that. They would also need to make sure that their uniforms, their shoes, their socks, things like that are in place. Um, their meal timetable, if they're not taking school lunch, have they set out a meal plan for the week? Have they set out um, what they would eat, what they would take to school? Have they sorted out transportation? who will drop them, who will pick them up? Have they put plans in place for when the kids are done from school, homework, things like that? Do they have after-school activities? Parents should take time out during the first week of school to go in and talk to the teachers, the school administrator, head of school, just to find out what the curriculum is about for that term, what the children would be learning um, they should also have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the teacher. So go over the child's last term report and, you know, pick out areas which you are not happy with and discuss with the teacher that, okay, I feel we can have a bit more improvement in this area and then work out a plan with the teacher. She also spoke about the Nigeria education system and what governments need to do. The government is not doing a lot of things right uh, when it comes to education. Um, over the past year, I've been opportune to visit a few schools in Lagos State, and the state of these schools are uh, nothing to write home about. First of all, the infrastructure. You can go into a school and you see that the roof is leaking, the classes are not conducive enough for students. The government should provide more trainings for teachers. You can't just employ anybody to be a teacher. I mean, we know that now the Cut-off mark to study education in university in Nigeria has dropped significantly, and it shouldn't be so, because teachers have an important role to play. So the government should also give the teachers more resources to teach with, because if they have limited or no resources, there's no way that they can teach effectively and for the children to understand what is being taught.